Meantime, Portland saw another weekend of violent clashes between police and anti-police groups, once again resulting in fires, broken glass and pepper balls. But tonight we're taking a closer look at one of the side effects from the protests and riots, a big lag time for officers responding to other 911 calls. Fox 12's Kendra Kent is live tonight with some of these impacts. Kendra. Yeah, that's right, Nora and Portland police say that the riots overnight on Friday did make it very difficult to respond in a timely fashion to what otherwise would be considered priority calls, things like shootings, burglaries, and even a priority hit and run. Now, today we went to some of the areas where these crimes happened to talk to witnesses and people living those neighborhoods. When you call the police, normally you think they're going to show up right away. But that wasn't the case late Friday night after this young man says a street racing event in southeast Portland took a violent turn. They came down, they cut somebody off, and there was actually a rear end. Um, as the rear end, the party, the party that got rear-ended was on one side of the street, and arguments broke out. Um, as the arguments broke out, there became a scuffle, and then when there was a scuffle, that's when the shots broke out. Data from the Portland 911 Bureau of Emergency Communications shows that the call came in just before midnight here where Southeast Powell Boulevard meets 67th Avenue. The man we interviewed didn't want to use his name, telling us he's involved with Portland's street racing scene, but says he quickly called 911. The amount of time it took, I mean, police didn't show up for 10, 15 20 minutes. In fact, I ended up leaving the scene. In fact, records show it actually took Portland police 36 minutes to respond to that call. It's unclear if anyone was hurt or arrested, but the Bureau says it is a prime example of how Portland's frequent violent protests and riots tie up resources, leaving officers stretched thin and slow to respond to calls for help. Across town in northeast Portland, another shooting was reported Friday night off Failing Street. Three quick shots. Kevin Murphy says that's what he heard just after 10 o'clock. So when did police respond? 911 records show officers were dispatched several hours later, around 3 Saturday morning. That's pretty concerning, yes. I, I believe that uh, it's not going to get better if the police do not respond. More Portland voices who say they too want to be heard when it comes to the future and value of the city's policing. Now, meanwhile, critics of the Portland Police Bureau say that funding for police would be better served if it was aimed more at turning to fund programs that would help prevent people from turning to crime. Now, earlier this month, the Portland City Council did vote to spend nearly $6 million to combat the city's big increase in gun violence. However, that money did not go to Portland Police. Instead, it will go to organizations in the community to help combat that gun violence. Reporting live tonight in Southeast Portland, Kendra Kent, Fox 12, Oregon.